Hello. Welcome to another in our series of Intergraph CADWorks and Analysis Solutions videos featuring PV Elite. Today you will learn about adding material to the ASME Material Database Editor. Materials can be added to the PD5500 and EN13445 material databases in the same manner. From the Tools menu, choose Edit add materials and choose the first option in the flyout window. These are the basic options in the material database editor. Press the plus button to begin the process of adding a new material. Select the material by clicking on it and then fill in all of the properties for this material. The newly added material must have a unique name in the database. This is very important. If you aren't sure what a value should be, use the help facility to aid in your understanding of each of the input values. Enter in the allowable stresses for the newly added material at the listed temperatures. Save and merge the database to the main PV Elite database. The user material database is now appended to the main PV Elite material database. The new material can now be accessed by typing it in or accessing it from the database. After selection, you can view the properties by clicking on the button next to the material name. For ASME Section 8 Division 1, the database file is called umat1.bin and is stored in the main PV Elite system directory. Thank you for sharing your time with us. For PV Elite news, free webinars, or success stories, Google PV Elite Insider blog.